We're getting married, Elizabeth. We're gonna have to be able to work through some of this stuff and, and trust each other. Okay, just stop, okay? Just stop, and I'll tell you because I don't want to lie about it anymore. I've been sleeping with Nicholas. Ever since the night of the carnival, when Jake almost got run down. The night I proposed to you? Yes, it, was, it wasn't planned. Like, it, it just happened. Things like that don't just no, it, happen, It did, Elizabeth. it did. And I'm so sorry. It just, I, I promise you it wasn't planned. I'm sorry. You're Elizabeth. sorry. I'm really You're sorry. sorry. You're sleeping with my brother. You agreed to marry me, Elizabeth, and you're sleeping with my brother. Sorry. Nicholas. Nicholas. What have you done? Nicholas. I feel like I'm interrogating you, like I'm pressuring you to give an answer you don't want to give. Are you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. I was just, I was, um, I was in the ER and there was, God, there was such a terrible accident today and this, this man, I don't even know that he's gonna make it and his wife was beside herself and it just got to me. Yeah. Uh, doesn't matter how many times you seen those things i mean sometimes it just um just hits you that way you know it still happens to me yeah yeah this one was a little different because i uh i can understand his wife's fear that she might lose the man she loves hey, and it just hey, kind of hey. scared me hey i'm not going anywhere i can't imagine my life without you in it You have this incredible gift for forgetting my mistakes. And I, I love that about you. Well, we both made our share of messes. Yes, we have. But you know, sometimes, somehow it just always ends up with you and me back together. And why shouldn't it? You're the only person I completely trust, Elizabeth. I can't imagine my life without you. I'm supposed to be working right now. Yeah, I'm working too. <laughs> hey, how about we uh, get together later on, you know? I mean, secret. No one has to know. What do you have in mind? Uh, Shayla. I already oh. talked to your grandmother, and she said that she would watch the boys so we could spend some time together. You deserve a little romance, Elizabeth. I get off at six. Okay. I'll pick you up. side of the law, me on the other, and it's high noon. I finally have to take you down. I haven't broken any laws today. I'm sorry, Dan. 
And I was handed a warrant, and I have to serve it. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you say can't oh, Hold your horses here, cowboy. What is the crime? You really want to know? Yeah, I want to know. Noise citations. Noise citations? Yeah. When you blast your old blues LPs over the PA system, it echoes out over the water. All the neighbors are complaining. Which neighbors? All of them. Not the three I paid off. Oh, come on. There must be something more important you can do with that badge of yours and harass me for my musical taste. Yeah, I like blues as much as the next guy. You know that. How about you just close the doors and windows and blast the music inside, at least for tonight. Consider it a personal favor. Elizabeth and I have plans, and I'd rather them not you be interrupted. You are really betting your whole heart and soul on this thing with Elizabeth, aren't you? Why shouldn't I? You know, I had a guy in here the other night. He kept putting money down on black 15. He said it was his lucky number. And it was, for a while. But even after it went south, he just kept putting the money down. Black 15, black 15. And finally I said to him, maybe you ought to change numbers. Or go to another table. Or maybe you should just stop playing for a while. It's not gambling, Dad. This is love. It's the same thing, Lucky. It's all a crapshoot. I mean, I've always said you can't ignore the odds. How'd that work out for you? Huh? You couldn't stay married to the love of your life? You couldn't even stay faithful? You wound up with a bastard son and a consolation marriage to Tracy. Yeah, well... Maybe my experience should be something that you pay attention to. Oh, I've been paying attention to it, believe me. I'm trying not to fail as miserably as you. I'm worried about you, Lucky. Well, I'll take that as an expression of your love. But how about you try being happy for me, too? So let me guess, you invited me down here because it's a slow night and you want me to lose my money. I wish that were the case, Nicholas. Look, you know I have a very hard, fast rule about not butting into other people's personal business, especially my children. Yeah, okay. This is about Lucky. And you, and Elizabeth. I saw you and Elizabeth together. Do you think it's right to play your brother for a fool like this? Look, at this. it's complicated. You don't know what's really going on. No, Nicholas, it's not complicated. It's simple. Lucky has put his whole heart on the chopping block for Elizabeth. He doesn't know that you're involved with her. Now you need to stop. If you can't stop, at least tell him the truth. 